Hey everyone, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to do the tacket method um, and uh, to show you a couple tips to um, get you through it a little bit easier than, um, than maybe you've done it before. So stay tuned, we're gonna go ahead and go through some materials and then we'll go ahead and get started. First, I wanna to explain to you what the tacket method is. The tacket method is um, using tacket over and over as you see here, and I will be posting this in my description, and you use this as an adhesive and you apply glitter. Now you don't just apply any ordinary glitter, you have to apply holographic glitter. So this tumbler right here, if you see the rainbow hue, that is uh, the holographic glitter, and that's the difference between um, just the regular glitter method and the, hol the uh, excuse me, the, the tacket method. So you're gonna get more of a holographic hue whenever you do it the tacket method. Um, so this is just a regular glitter, just the um, not tacket method, but just regular glitter, so you could see the difference between the two. So if you want more of a rainbow look to your glitter, use your holographic glitter with the tacket method. If you just want a great sparkly uh, tumbler, I would say the old fashioned way, <laughs> um, this is just the regular uh, tumbler. So I do wanna explain the difference and show you all the difference. So I hope that did help. So again, your glitter must be holographic. So the three glitters that I'm showing you now, these are wonderful, beautiful glitters, but they are not holographic. So none of these glitters have a holographic hue to them, meaning that there's no rainbow hue inside of these glitters. And I'll go ahead and show you some uh, holographic glitter here up next. This glitter is holographic glitter. You see that gorgeous rainbow hue? This is a holographic glitter. It is a gray holographic glitter. The glitter that I'll be using today is from Grateful Glitters and I will be posting their um, website in my description below. It is Emerald City. It is a holographic fine glitter and since uh, Christmas is coming up soon, I chose to, to, uh, to use the green. So you could see the hollow hue inside of the glitter. The tumbler I'll be using today is from the stainlessteeldepot.com. I will be posting their website in my description below. I am using a 12 ounce wine tumbler. I did go ahead and I spray painted this tumbler with my Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Flat White. So I went ahead and I spray painted that. Um, typically I would probably spray paint it green, but I don't have any green spray paint, so I went ahead and I went with the black or with the white spray paint. And then of course I'm going to be using the tacket over and over. I will be posting this link in the description below of where I purchased this from Amazon. You're gonna need to dilute your tacket over and over with water. You're gonna dilute one by one. So you're going to add one part tacket and one part water. I just went ahead and I put it inside of my um, one ounce cups, two separate cups, did one part tacket, one part water and I mix them together and then I keep it inside of this little container and I write tack it in water. So if you are doing a lot of tumblers, it's easy to store a lot of it at a time than um, keep uh, mixing it every single time you are doing the, the tack it method. These little containers come in pack of 10 and they are a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply my tacket over and over, diluted with water onto my tumbler. Now the key to doing this is you want a very, very, very thin coat. So you want just a thin coat of this tacket over and over on the tumbler. And I am using a half an inch brush, but I've used my gloved finger with this as well. So if you don't have brushes around, you can just use your finger if it's easier for you. Just throw a glove on and go ahead and apply it just like as you would apply um, any epoxy to a tumbler. So you just want a even coat. You don't want too much streaking. So um, if it does help for you to, to use your glove, then, then that's fine as well. You do not want any streaking on the tumbler, but you do want to apply an even coat. So make sure your coat is very thin. Now this is a white tumbler and I am applying um, white tacket over and over. So if I would have spray painted my cup green, you would have seen that this is white. So the tacket over and over is white. Whenever it dries, it's gonna turn clear. And then I always try to get the bottom. Try not to forget about the bottom of my tumbler. Again, 
Make sure you have an even coat. I turn off my over light so y'all can see um, a little better. Now, once you applied an even coat, you're going to want to let this completely dry. And like I said, if you are using a different color spray paint, green, red, purple, you're going to see this tacket dry to a clear. So right now, this tacket over and over is white. Whenever it's completely dry, and it's going to take about 20 to 25 minutes, it's going to be clear. And then we'll be back for the next step. All right, so I am back. It's been about uh, 15, 20 minutes. My tacket is completely dry. If you are using a white base tumbler, um, obviously your tacket's white and it's gonna dry clear, but you're not gonna see. Um, if you just touch it, it's just gonna be sticky. So it's not gonna be wet anymore. So that's how you're gonna know that it is completely dry. So after this step, you're gonna go ahead and take your tacket over and over again, and you're gonna apply another coat onto your tumbler. And this is, this reason is because a lot of people have problems with the Tacket method and they say their glitter doesn't stick to the tumbler. And whenever I do multiple coats of the Tacket, it does take a little longer, but my outcome of my tumbler, as you can see, the one I showed you in the beginning, there's no dry spots or no dots or anywhere on this tumbler. So I got a full coverage of this. So this is the, I guess the secret, that's not really a secret, um, to the Tacket method. So make sure you're putting multiple coats. Sometimes if I don't feel confident enough, I'll put a third coat. So we'll see how this video goes. All right, y'all, I am back and my tumbler is completely dry with the Tacket over and over. I went ahead and I put my Emerald City glitter um, inside of a Dixie cup just so I can have more control of the glitter flow. And I am taking a construction paper just to, to get the catch of the glitter because I don't want to uh, waste all this glitter. So now that your tacket is uh, dry, all you're going to do is you're just going to dump your glitter onto your tumbler. So you're going to pour it all over your tumbler. And you just want an even coverage. Gonna dump the whole entire bag on here. You want to pour it onto the entire tumbler. Make sure you do not miss any spots of the tumbler. So make sure you do get the rim up here so you can see the little white rim. Now again I would have spray painted this tumbler green but I was all out of green spray paint so I went ahead and just spray painted it white. Make sure you get the bottom of your tumbler and I just hold my tumbler at an angle and I just dump the, the glitter onto the tumbler. Now that your tumbler is completely covered with glitter, this is the fun part. The more fun part, I just say. So it's covered with the glitter and now you're gonna take your finger. Um, I just make sure I have clean hands for this. You can use gloved finger, but I've always found it easier just to use an ungloved finger. And now you're going to rub the tumbler. Now, do you see the difference? Do you see the hollow, hollow hue, the rainbow hue? You're just gonna rub all over the tumbler. If you would have put a thick coat of the tacket over and over, then it's gonna be harder to rub. So if you put a thick coat, it's fine. You're not gonna mess up. It's just gonna be harder to rub off the, um, the glitter but it will come off so you're gonna rub the entire tumbler and if you see the difference that's where I rubbed and this is where the glitter is so rubbed on this side look at the hollow rainbow uh, hue and then this is just the the plain um, glitter which this is still beautiful but if you're going for the tacket method um, you could see the difference now I'm gonna fast forward this part as I'm taking off the glitter on the tumbler
All right, so I went ahead and I rubbed all of the glitter off of my tumbler. So like I said, if you did a, um, a thicker coat, you're gonna have to rub a little harder than um, doing thinner coats. But do you see this full coverage? Look at the hollow hue to this tumbler. So this tumbler is completely finished. You can see it is completely rubbed off with the excess glitter. And look at that green hollow. I love this shade. Now, if I would have spray painted a green base underneath here, it would have been a little bit more green and the green would have popped more, but I still think this tumbler is beautiful. There are no bare spots or no naked spots on this tumbler. You don't see any white on this tumbler because I did the the two um, layers of, of the, the tacket. So doing the two layers, at least two layers, makes a huge difference than just doing one. Sometimes I'll do three if I have enough time on my hands. It does take a little longer, but it is worth it in the end. So you rub all of this off. There is no bald spots. There's no spots that isn't covered. It is perfect. So make sure you do do those uh, two layers on here. Now I know a lot of people um, I've seen go ahead and just decal this and then put it underneath the um, put it on the turner and epoxy. But what I do is I go ahead and I epoxy this tumbler, then I put my decal on and then I epoxy again. Or I'll just epoxy it and that's it. So epoxy will not affect this hue or anything. It's still gonna have that hollow effect to it. So um, I go ahead and I take that extra step anyways. Whenever I first started doing this, I did put my decal on here and the transfer tape actually ripped off the, the glitter on here. So I had one bad experience. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and I, I epoxy all of them. So after this, um, you'll go ahead and epoxy it, place your decal and epoxy it again, and then you are good to go. Again, all of my materials, including the glitter that I use from Grateful Glitters, will be listed in the description below. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, click the follow button, and if you have any questions, leave it in my comments below, or you can always reach out to me on my Facebook. It's Miss Kiss Creations with a K. It's the same handle as my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.